Okay, reading a contour map um, where we have a function that has both an x value and y value, we're trying to come up with what the output would be. So what we mean by this is we're plugging in an x value of 1 and a y value of 10. Um, so first, let's identify exactly which point is on our graph. All right, the point itself, you go to the right one because that's our x-axis and go up 10 because that's our y-axis. So we should be looking at this point right here at 110. The next thing we want to do is go ahead and try to estimate where exactly is that. All right, so this is going to require looking at our contour lines. So we have one going across here at 60. And then we have another one going across here at 120. So our first estimate should be whatever the output's going to be is between 60 and 120. But we can do a little bit better than that as far as getting an estimate. So what I'm doing is I'm going to go ahead and draw a parallel line to this and try to get it approximately right in the middle between those two. So that's what this blue line is going across. And halfway in between 60 and 120 would be 80. All right, now it looks like our point is pretty close to being right between 60 and 80. So I would estimate it to be right about 70. Um, almost an equal distance in between these two lines. Um, that's why I'm guessing it's right about at 70. Now you could draw additional lines in between and get better and better estimates as you go, but I think that should be good enough. I think the computer on this one actually estimated it to be at 72. All right, hope this helps out. Good luck as you're reading contour mappings.